So I want to make a quick video on enums and uh, I guess I'll also throw in switch statements. These are two things that personally I don't ever use very often but you know I'm always writing programs to do math things and you might find these more useful than I do. Um, so this is special syntax for describing things that could be one of a finite number be in a finite number of like nominal states like uh, I made up an, an enum here it's really it's really a new type which I'll call status t and then things that that are of this type they can be in one of these three states and the way you assign the state is just like this so it's like you can use these words as in, as new defined constants notice that notice that I haven't said what these three words are anywhere else and yet the compiler is not yelling at me for just using it there so it it knows that this is just one of the three possible values that that this type could have and this type which is an enum type is specialized for you know storing one of a finite number of conditions or states so down here I, I could use this you know this line high is just saying hello um, but I, I could test the value of the status and then and a conditional like this just ask if it's equal to critical and then it is and so it'll print uh, yikes let me just go ahead and exit the program right here actually so we can see that work and I haven't included standard lib so it wants to know what exit means and I'll compile it and run it and it just says hi yikes and it says yikes because this is true uh, the reactor status is critical so not much to it right see how it works and um, so let me do a little bit a little bit more with this so there's this syntactic thing called a switch statement which you can use kind of you don't necessarily need to use it with an enum but it's the kind of thing that works well with an enum and it it um, branches on something that could be in you know some finite number of conditions that's probably large you could you could do this with an else an, an if else construction also but um, if there are many cases sometimes it can be a little bit more convenient to use a switch statement so what's happening here is I'm declaring a new status type and the the reactor 2 status is offline and then I'm gonna print some message and the message that I print my program is going to switch you know like an electrical switch into one of these uh, four cases depending on what the value of this is so it could either be offline nominal or critical or default is just none of the above so if, if these all fall through then I do this and this condition the default is maybe I should print something like it puts uh, what's happening this would be a weird case right that's uh, this would be the I don't know what the hell just happened case um, or maybe some other thing depending on your program so it has these these messages and then if you run this did I get rid of the exit yeah so it prints it's chill baby because the status of the reactor is offline but if I change it to a critical then it says ah run and um, so switch can take just any kind of integer type so if I put in 99 here there's no there's no case for 99 and so it'll go to the default case and so it says what's happening something that's a little bit tricky about the switch construction are these uh, break cases and um, so let me mess things up and show you what happens uh, so this is kind of interesting notice that I put in zero and it went to the critical case that's because these things are secretly just numbers I don't I forget if they're chars or or what they are so zero is critical because that's first one is nominal because that's second two is offline because that's third so if I wanted to print the the nominal case I could change that to one but of course you don't want to do that because the whole point is to make this uh, more clear for somebody who's reading your program and uh, let me change that to a 2 
So I was talking about these these break conditions and the uh, the status is critical. So let's let's look at what happens if I take the the break statement out there. You know what does break do? I haven't made a video about this, but what break does is it exits the block. And the block here is the stuff between these curly braces. So when you hit a break, it immediately goes to like right here after the entire block. Now if you take that out, it is going to go to the critical case because that's what the status actually is but then it's going to fall through and it will print this message too so let's let's watch it happen uh, right so it, it triggers the critical case but because there's no break it falls through the next case so you know in some situations you you want it to fall through you can have all kinds of complicated logic here this is just you know an example of typical usage of the of the construction and that's all. There's not much to those two things.